Hello, Thousand Pound Pig here. I haven't done one of these videos for a while, which is a kind of a channel update, just to talk about the channel and to you guys. But I want to talk about a bunch of things, including the new PC, which I got, which has a bunch of new parts. But first off, I guess I should mention that my voice might sound a little bit different, both because I'm using new recording software, and I'm currently trying to get over a flu or something, so hopefully that goes away soon. Especially by tomorrow, because I got a surprise for you. My old computer wasn't that special, I was using an i5 CPU, 2.8 GHz, and a GeForce GTX 580. I do not know much about computers, I do not have the patience for them, I get fed up really easily. So for those computer nuts who are listening to this, hopefully that makes sense. But I got a bit of an upgrade because I do want to start recording videos on this channel, 1080p 60 frames per second. And this is gonna blow up the channel in terms of variety. Which means I will not limit myself to just 30 frames per second locked games. I'll be able to play much more games, much more recent modern day games and driving games of course because I want to show the best quality I can. That's why I've only been sticking to games which have been locked at 30 frames per second. Unless it's smart of course. So the new computer has a Gigabyte Z97X motherboard. Uh, it glows red, I don't really know. Uh, an Intel Core i7-4790, 3.6 GHz CPU. Uh, as far as I know, the i5 is better for games, but the i7 is better for editing, which is what I rather do. I rather do editing, rendering, and things instead of just playing games. But the i7 makes sense over the i5, doesn't it? It's a higher number, that just makes sense to me. And a GTX 970, 4GB graphics card. So that's a huge upgrade compared to the old 580 graphics card. The good thing for you guys is that now I have a huge CPU cooler. I got a Cooler Master Hyper 212 Evo 82.9 CFM sleeve bearing CPU cooler. I don't know what it is, I'm just reading it off of a list. But it's pretty big and fancy and stainless steel and everything. And the case is a Fractal Design Define R5 Tower. And Fractal are known to make super quiet PC cases. So before with my old PC case my background noise was this. And now, it is more like this. That may not mean much, but I do put it in Audacity and use a noise removal effect just to get rid of some background noise. Before uploading to YouTube, because I don't want a shitty fans in the background or anything, and I'll keep doing that, even though you can hardly hear it, and, but you can see the visual difference, can't you? I'll put those specs down in the description below, if you want to go through the parts, see what they look like, and see all their technical names or something, I don't really know. As I said, I'm not a computer person, but that was a good learning experience, learning how to take apart and put together a computer like three or four times. Oh, so, so frustrating. So the good news is that now I should be able to record in 1080p 60 frames per second. I could record in 1080p before, but I could not record and upload in 60 frames per second before. So I have got a few pieces of footage which I did record before the upgrade and after the upgrade. The yellow number down the bottom right hand corner, that's fraps, I just use that for the frames per second counter while I'm playing a game. So I was using that for testing. For some reason it didn't show up in the driver footage, I don't know. I was also suggested to try out Furmark. It's basically a furry donut which is falling down a hole or something. I don't know, it looks like something the housemate would leave behind. This was a huge difference. Before I was getting under 20 frames per second, and now I get over 60 frames per second. And with Smite things look a lot smoother. I don't think 60 frames per second is that important, but for certain games, such as a driving game, then I would say it's basically essential. But for Smite, maybe not so much. I'll keep uploading Smite videos, but I'll be trying different things with that. So instead of 720, 30 FPS, I'll be doing like 1080, 60 FPS. Or maybe 720, 60 FPS. Or 1080, 30 FPS. Uh, it depends, really. I am in Australia, so it's Australian internet. It's pretty slow for me to upload. And it's still got to render the footage as well and record it, so it all depends on a lot of different things in each stage of the process. But I do care about representing a game fairly, the way it wants to be represented, with max settings, and what you guys want to see. Please let me know. I'm also not using the Avimedia Live Gamer HD Portable. I'm using an OBS software, which is much more popular and it can help you with the 60 frames per second issue. So these comparisons might look a bit weird, because one of them is a lot brighter and more colourful than the other. That is a new PC, of course. When setting up OBS, I got to change some settings, and I do not know how to change them back. So I'll be tweaking OBS step by step just to make it a better settings. But YouTube automatically makes things darker, but that's just the way they compress videos so they can host so many videos online. So it's not really a huge issue. 
Oh god, where's my Nurofen? Nurofen's tasty. Do any of you like Nurofen? You know, people have Panadine and Panadol. That stuff sends me to sleep. I like Nurofen. It's tasty. I'm not addicted. The channel is going alright though. I'm currently at 256 subscribers. And though I had some good growth over August, I admit I didn't really like the content I was putting out. I liked some of it, which is why I uploaded it, but a lot of it seemed very lazy to me. So that's what I want to improve during September. I want to try and find a better style, more unique videos. But honestly, I do not care about the subscribers. Subscribers are great, yeah. But honestly, I did not get into YouTube because of subscribers. I don't want to build an army or anything. That would be awesome. But I don't want to build an army and take over the world. I got into YouTube because I wanted feedback, so I like comments, likes, favorites, subscribes, they're all nice, but I want feedback, that's basically why I make videos. I want to make better videos and just keep going on like that. Subscribers' views, they aren't that important, they're nice, but feedback is king to me. And I haven't really been getting much of that lately, but I've been getting more views, so in my world that means I'm doing something wrong. Because I want to talk to you guys, I don't want you guys just to watch. If you guys liked the video, the thumb up helps if you want to be quiet. But if you want to leave a comment and say what you liked about it, or how you'd like to see more, then that's what I really want to see, that's what I want to know. And I'd try to reply to every one of those comments if I can. So if you're a subscriber, please don't be afraid to comment. YouTube, Twitter, Facebook, you know, it's all there. But that's probably enough, I probably need to lie down now. But videos in September might drop off a bit because I do want to focus on the quality instead of the crap. And I need to concentrate on uni a little bit more. I still want to challenge myself with daily videos, but it's probably not the smartest thing to do in September. So let me know your thoughts on it. What do you think of the new PC build or the new 60 frames per second? Do you notice a difference? And how have you liked the channel so far? Has it been getting better or worse? Has it slowly been getting crap or whatever? Post in the comments or talk to me on Twitter. And thank you, thank you, thank you. I would not have been making videos this long if it wasn't for you guys. So I really appreciate your support. Just let me know what you think, and I'll see you next time.